friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. It's Vlogmas, so I thought what better video than to do a get ready with me with a fun, easy holiday look as well as a Q&A. So on my Instagram and my Facebook group, I asked you to ask me any questions that you would like me to answer during this Q&A and I have a ton of questions. My goal is to get through all of them while I put on my makeup and get ready for today. So for those of you that submitted questions, thank you so much. I'm hoping to be able to answer all of those in today's video. I'm going to be putting on a full face of makeup, really a great holiday look. Simple, not over the top, but a very festive holiday look. So I'm excited to share products with you and how I put on my makeup. A lot of you lately have been commenting saying you, my makeup has been looking flawless lately. My skin has been flawless lately. So I want to share with you what makeup I am using to have this flawless look. So before we jump into today's video, if you're new to my channel, help me hit my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. I'm pretty darn close. All you have to do is subscribe and ring the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Also, if you love Q&A makeup tutorials, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, check out that description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I can figure your macros and calories and get you set up for success in the new year. I also offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions for yourself and they also make a fantastic gift. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website. I am going to link all of the products that I'm using today to put together my makeup look down in the description box as well. And you'll also find my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there. I have some great exciting things actually going live tomorrow in my Facebook group. So you're not gonna wanna miss out. Plus we'd love to have you in that community. So. We have makeup to put on, I have coffee in hand, and we have questions to answer, so let's jump in. So first I'm going to start with some face primer. Again, everything will be linked down below for you guys. I'm starting with the e.l.f. illuminating primer. And the first question is, what are you doing for Christmas? So we are actually having a pretty small Christmas this year. It's going to be Troy, myself, my mom, and her boyfriend, Dean. Now most of the time my cousin and his wife and their two grown kids also come over for Christmas. But due to COVID and our state actually being in pretty much another lockdown where we're not supposed to gather, they've chosen not to come over this Christmas. So we do a fun Christmas Eve where we play games, we have appetizers, and then my mom usually spends the night. And then Christmas morning, we get up my mom, Troy and myself, and open our gifts and make a little family Christmas dinner. So it's gonna be small and intimate, but it's still awesome. Our Thanksgiving was super Super small too and it was honestly one of my favorite Thanksgivings so far so I'm looking forward to Christmas as well I'm going to add some eye cream under my eyes this just helps with baking my face as well as like adding a little bit of moisture and the next question is how long have you been on WW including breaks so I have shared in past videos that I did WW back in about 2000 and to 2003 and I in the course of about a year and a half to two years lost about 125 pounds now mind you I was in my 20s back then so losing weight was a, a little bit easier but I did lose over 100 pounds but I never actually made it to goal at WW I came within a couple pounds and then I stopped going and over the last 15 plus years I've gained a lot of that weight back and so overall, I would say between that stint on WW and all the other times I've tried leading up to this point, I would say that I've been on WW probably about five years. So next I'm going to apply my foundation. You can see that I've kind of already started here. I'm using the Mint Pear Foundation Brush. This is my very favorite foundation brush and the CoverGirl Olay Full Coverage Foundation. So the next question is, what is your go-to holiday Starbucks drink? So 
I am pretty boring, honestly, when it goes to when it comes to Starbucks. I don't buy a lot of their flavored drinks because they're really high in calories and points. What I've been loving lately is their cold brew almond milk foam with the cocoa. And you can have a venti for 40 calories or one smart point, I believe. And it is not sweet. It is more of just the coffee taste with the almond milk foam but i really really have been liking that if you had to give up one career either real estate or youtube what would it be honestly real estate and it's not that i don't love real estate because i really truly do but you guys my 100 percent passion lies right here on youtube i absolutely love creating content i love sharing my journey with you guys i love helping you guys I love everything about YouTube. I started my channel for accountability and it grew into what it is today, which I am so incredibly thankful for. And honestly, there's really truly no way I'd ever give up YouTube. I'm going to add some concealer to my eyes, my forehead, down my nose and my chin. And the next question is, what is your guilty pleasure? I don't know if you're referring to food guilty pleasure or just guilty pleasure in general, but as far as food goes, you guys, you know, I'm a sweets eater. Anything sweets is definitely my guilty pleasure when it comes to food. Generally on Saturday, the day that I use my weeklies or my extra calories, however you want to look at it, that's generally when I will splurge and have some of my favorite sweet treats, whether that be cookies or cake or whatever I kind of feel like that day. But guilty pleasure is definitely all the sugary sweets. I'm going to start baking my face using the Beauty Bakery Oat Flour Setting Powder. And the next question is, do you have any advice for those of us over 60 in menopause, stuck at a plateau and we are not seeing that scale move? And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender again for this. So as far as advice goes, you have to remember that the human body does just crazy things. Sometimes we can't control what our body wants to do. And when we're in menopause or when we're going through any type of hormonal changes, our body is going through a lot and it kind of puts our body off whack. And so we can often find ourselves at a plateau or gaining weight or just not seeing the scale move maybe in the direction that we want because our hormones, our body is kind of out of whack. So my suggestion to you would be to maybe move your body a little bit more and also change up what you're eating. You know, do some point cycling or if you're counting calories, do some calorie cycling. Kind of keep your body in a little bit of a guessing game when it comes to how much you're going to feed it as well as how much you're going to move. And by keeping your body and your hormones during menopause guessing, you might be able to get the scale to move. But also remember, every body is different. Some people don't struggle during menopause, some do. Just find little changes that you can make to see if you can improve your weight loss. I'm going to add a little bit of this L'Oreal True Match powder just on the part that isn't currently baking. Now with baking, this is a technique drag queens have used for a very long time and we kind of stole it from them, but it works really, really well. So what happens is when you bake your face, you put on a setting powder and you let it sit for at least five minutes and the heat from your skin will essentially bake that onto your face and it gives you this really pretty flawless look, this bright flawless under eye. So that's kind of the point behind baking. I do have a couple of favorite baking powders. I'll link the one I use today as well as the other one, which is from Tarte down below as well. So I'm going to put on a little bit of translucent powder. And the next question, besides your YouTube channel and meal planning, how do you organize and plan your days? You seem so incredibly organized. So first of all, I am honestly very organized and it comes from my type A personality. I have always been someone who's been a list maker. I've always been somebody who likes to be very organized. I like things in their place. I have a very clean, organized home. It's just kind of how I am. It's how I've always been. And I think a lot of that actually stems from how I grew up because my mom is actually the same way. Her home is spotless. She's very organized. She makes lists. I think it's just personality traits that I developed from her. So I find myself using a lot of planners. You guys know I love Erin Condren. I'll link that one down below too. My life planner. I actually have two planners. I am just somebody who likes to write things down. And my mom has always said that I have a photographic memory. So once I write something down, I don't forget. So that's been really helpful as well. So 
people. That's why I find myself making a lot of lists because then it not only keeps me organized, but I remember what I have on my to-do. So while I'm baking for a couple more minutes, I'm gonna answer a couple more questions. So have my phone here reading off these questions. The next one is how to try to stay on track and eat the best things. I have a pretty large family and I'm struggling in this and I feel so down because I can't stay on track. So when it comes to working around your family and staying on track, I find that with my husband, if I make meals that I know that he's going to like, that helps me not have to make multiple meals. He enjoys it. And not only am I staying on track, but I'm also feeding him a healthy meal as well, which is also another kind of win-win. So make sure that if you have young children, that maybe the snacks that you're bringing into the house aren't snacks that you would generally reach for to kind of keep that temptation at bay. And as far as staying motivated and getting back on track, motivation comes and goes. You can't depend on motivation. You have to depend on being consistent. And I do have a few videos here on my channel where I talk about motivation and getting back on track. I will link those down below. I think that is going to be the best way for me to sum up and answer your question for you. So the next question kind of goes hand in hand with this. I've lost 30 pounds, then all of a sudden I've gained 12 back. What can I do to stop? I'm trying to get my mojo back and keep gaining. So again, this goes back to being consistent. It's really important that on any lifestyle journey that you remain consistent. So whatever it is that you're doing, whether that be calories or points or both, that you're being consistent day to day in doing those. Now one day in one little screw up isn't gonna derail your whole progress, but just really truly remaining consistent. And again, I think these videos I'm gonna link as far as motivation and getting back on track, I think would be beneficial to anyone who's struggling in both of these areas. One more question while we bake, and this is I'm no longer on the WW plan, but I still love to follow you on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, thank you. Have you ever thought about leaving WW and going to another weight loss plan? So this is a little bit of a juicy question. To go to another weight loss plan, no. I don't see myself ever going to another weight loss plan, meaning like Jenny Craig or one of those other types of diet or weight loss plans out there. What I would see myself doing is going to strictly counting calories and macros. And the reason for that is because calories and macros never change. It's a consistent way of losing weight. It's a consistent way of maintaining your weight. It's a balanced way of doing both of those things because you're eating carbs proteins and fats, and calories are everywhere. They're on every package, they're on every fast food item, where points aren't. So having to calculate points is a little harder than just plugging calories into an app like Lose It, which is the app that I prefer to use. So if I ever left WW, I would see myself going to strictly counting calories. So once I'm done baking, I'm gonna take my brush here and just wipe off the baking powder, and then we'll get onto our eye look. And while we are wiping off all this powder, the next question is, how did you meet your husband? Oh, there are several pieces to this question. So first, how did I meet my husband? So I actually met Troy on match.com, believe it or not, uh, over five years ago. We actually went to the same high school, but Troy is two years older than me. So I knew his face in high school. Like when he showed me his senior picture in the yearbook, I was like, oh, I recognize him. But I didn't personally know him. He had the same girlfriend all through high school. I had the same boyfriend all through high school. So we never actually communicated or knew each other until we met on match.com and the rest is history. So the other part to this question is how do I like living in Washington and tell us about your dogs. We love them. They're so incredibly cute. So first of all, I love living in Washington. I have lived here most of my life. I was actually born in Grand Forks, North Dakota, but my family moved here when I was in about the first grade. So I truly have lived here, honestly, most of my life. I have moved away for a couple of short periods. I lived in Missoula, Montana for a while, and I lived in both Coeur d'Alene and Spirit Lake, Idaho for a while, but I always find my way back here. When my dad passed away in 2013, unexpectedly, and myself being an only child, that's when I moved back here from Montana so I could be close to my mom. She's the only family I have. We're very close. So I wanted to make sure that I was here for her and was able to spend as much time with her as possible because as our parents get older, it's important for us to really spend time with them because we never know when 
a life is going to be taken away from us. So I want it to be a lot closer to my mom. So the eyeshadow palette for today's look that I'm using is the Tori Bell. This is the same company that we'll do lashes from, and this is the Space Out palette. I chose this one because number one, I love it. And number two, it just has really pretty kind of holiday vibe colors. There's some greens, there's some red. So we're gonna do kind of a holiday look with this. So first thing I'm going to do is go in with the color Venus, and I'm gonna put that over my lid. So the next question is, tell us about your dogs. So when I was living in Missoula, Montana, is when I actually got Diesel. So Diesel I purchased with my ex-husband, yes, I've been married before, from a breeder in Lolo, Montana, which is right outside of Missoula. So I've had Diesel since he was about 12 weeks old, he seriously was the cutest dog pretty much ever. So I've had him and then when my ex-husband and I actually split up, we at that time we had lived in an apartment and once we separated i actually purchased a home in missoula that had a yard so i took diesel so that diesel would have a yard and at that time i also owned a drive through coffee shop and i was able to take diesel to work with me every single day which was also really nice so that diesel didn't have to stay home so i ended up taking diesel from that relationship we actually had diesel in our divorce papers where my ex-husband and his daughters picked him up every weekend like visitation with diesel so we did that up until i moved back to spokane i'm gonna go in with milky way this white color here up on my brow bone okay so then as far as lola goes so lola when i lived in idaho i actually was with an i was dating somebody and who had a teenage daughter and when we moved from Coeur d'Alene, idaho and bought a home in spirit lake idaho we told her that she could not bring her cat because the home we purchased was new and we just didn't want to have a litter box in our new home. So we said, if you, because we won't let you bring your cat, we will let you get a dog when we move into our new home. And at that time, I actually had Diesel, the person I was dating, he had a lab as well. And then we got Lola. But Lola from the get-go was pretty attached to me. So when we separated and I moved back again to Spokane, I decided to take Lola with me just because she was the most attached to me. And to this day, she is my very best friend. She's my rescue dog. I love her. She's my snuggle buddy. She sleeps under the covers with me every night. She's just has so much personality. I, I love them both so much. Truly, they are our kids. In the far corner of my eye, I'm going to put in this pinky color called Mars. And the next question is, do you and your husband eat everything that you prepare? And have you ever made something that you didn't like? So of course, I've made recipes that we didn't care for. More, I've made recipes that my husband didn't care for. So he will generally eat the dinner that I prepare, but he just doesn't eat the leftovers if it's not his favorite dinner. So those are the leftovers that I generally eat. And when I do my meal plan, I actually plan for two nights a week of leftovers, usually Tuesday night and Friday night. So we always eat up everything. We very rarely have food waste. I'm now going to go in with this darker color called space dust down here in the corner and i'm going to put that in to the crease of my eye so the next question is do you guys ever plan on having kids so the answer to that question is no so we are both in our mid 40s and we're just at a point in our life where kids just don't really work into the equation so when i was married before we had talked about possibly having kids it just didn't really work in to our plan at that time in our life and that is same for troy as well who was also married once before him and his ex-wife spoke about children it just never really worked in and at this point we're pretty content and happy where we are. All right, we've got our eyeshadow on. It actually looks really, really good. I hope that you guys can see that pretty well. But it is just a very, very pretty, easy look. But it does add a little bit of glam, especially for the holidays. So we're going to add our lashes using the Tori Bell Mascara Liner Combo. Tori Bell lashes are magnetic. You guys know that I love them. I'm going to go with a very neutral lash called Date Night. So it's a shorter lash. It's not as full and long as I generally 
primarily use because I wanted to make sure that I showed you a lash that most people would use. Some people don't like the more dramatic look. So this is just a very neutral lash. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my liner, which is this side. And then the other side has my mascara. So it's kind of a two in one. I'm not going to put my liner on on camera because I need to pay attention, but I'll show you guys my liner when I'm done. But before I go, let's answer another question. What app do I use to track calories? I use Lose It. It's my favorite app. I actually paid for the premium version. I find it easy to use and it's aesthetically pleasing as well. Now the great thing about this liner with Tori Bell is you don't have to be good at putting on liquid liner because once you put on the lashes, you'll never see it. So I'm going to let this dry, answer a question, and then put on a second coat of the liner. So the next question is by using full fat and no sugar free, no full fat options. How do you not starve because you go through your points so quickly? So I'm glad that this question was asked because I think that that's a big misconception about going with healthy, full fat, non sugar free foods. Yes, they cost more points, but as long as you fill in the gaps with zero point foods, you can eat a really well rounded, healthy, diet. You can have all the full fat things, full fat cheese, full fat peanut butter, full fat dairy, if you add in adequate amounts of zero point food. So just make sure that a lot of the proteins that you're choosing are zero points, that you're bulking up your meals with vegetables and fruits. I don't find myself starving ever. I don't find myself feeling like I'm going through my points really fast. Now, granted, I do get more points than the minimum, but I have also put a video up where I showed you how to eat clean on the minimum number of points on all three plants. And I will link that video down below. It's pretty eye opening and it kind of explains in detail what I mean by you can make it work if you add in some zero point foods. Two coats of eyeliner is on. Now I'm going to use the mascara end and I'm going to put mascara just on the base of my lashes to help the magnetic lashes stick a little bit better. Now that the liquid liner has dried, I'm using this Maybelline liquid liner and I'm gonna go ahead and draw on my wing. But while I'm doing that, let's answer a question. You are so energetic all the time. How do you have time to film everything, edit work, side hustle, and everything else? Do you sleep ever? So I find myself, like I said, due to my type A personality, I find myself being very organized. I feel just comparing myself to my husband because that's who I live with. In a given day, I can get 100 times more done than him. He gets sidetracked really easy, where I am somebody who is very driven, and when I make up my mind to do something, I do it. And for me, I get all of my work done before I do any play things. So before I watch TV, before I relax, I get my work done that I have for the day, whether that's filming, editing, uploading, get my workout in, make sure I, my food is tracked and ready to go. It's just a piece of my personality. I do have a lot of energy, I'm generally a really happy outgoing person and I just find that based on my personality type I just can get a lot done in a day I've always been this way you guys ever since I was a kid my mom will attest to the fact that when I set my mind to something I just generally just do it and I don't let anything stand in my way and as far as sleep goes I do sleep I actually go to bed really early between like 8 and 9 p.m. and I'm up between 4 and 5 a.m. I feel like I get a good amount of sleep I'm just very 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 much a morning person all right wing is on now now for the date night lashes. Like I said, these are a very neutral, shorter lash. What I really like about these is they give you some volume to your natural lash. They're just not really long like the ones that I generally like to wear. I generally wear the selfies. I'll link those down below as well as these date night and a couple other of my favorite more neutral lashes. But the best thing about Tori Bell is they just pop right on with the magnets. So you just magnet them right to your eye and voila, you have lashes on. They stay all day. I've been in a windstorm and they stay. So I'm gonna get my other lash on and answer a couple more questions. So magnetic lashes are on. Like you can see, they're very, very neutral. They're not very long, but they just added a lot of volume. That's why I love lashes, especially the magnetic ones. So much easier than messing with the glue. So definitely check out Tori Bell for the eyeshadow palette and the lashes. I have some L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I'm just going to put this on my bottom lash. And the next question was, would you ever consider becoming a WW coach? P.S. I love your channel. Thank you. I love you guys too. Um, as far as being a coach, probably not. It's just not something that I would want to add to my plate. And the things that I do my real estate, my YouTube channel, my nutrition coaching, those are all things I'm 100% passionate about. I'm not 100% passionate about being a Weight Watchers coach. So I don't see myself ever doing that for that reason. 
and as well as just not adding another career to my spectrum of careers. All right, eyes are done. It's just a very pretty look. I love it. I actually have not been wearing eyeshadow for a long time. I usually just do liner and lashes, so this is kind of a change for me. I like it. So the next question is, do I ever plan on switching from WW to calorie counting permanently? I kind of answered this. If I ever changed anything, that's what I would change. And before we do my brows and the little corner highlight here, the next question is, what is my opinion on Botox and fillers? I don't have an opinion. I've never had either of those things. I don't plan at this point on having either of those things, but you know what I say? You do you. Whatever makes you feel good, whatever you choose to do with your body, your face, then do that. I don't think it's our right to judge anybody else on what they do, whether it be with their body, with their face, in their life even here on YouTube, what they choose to show or do on YouTube, it's not our place to judge. For my brows, I use this CoverGirl Brow Gel. I have used this for a very long time. It's kind of like a mascara wand. I love it. I have some crazy brows and they are in desperate need of a wax. So this just kind of not only adds color, but keeps my eyebrows in place. So I just brush it on like I would with mascara. The next question is, I see that you don't have a fence. How do you keep your dogs in your yard. So actually, we do have a fence. Our backyard is fully fenced. When we purchased this home, we put in a six foot chain link fence. It was a lot of money because we wanted to make sure that our dogs could roam freely in the backyard. They also have a dog door that they can go in and out at will. And then the yard is completely fenced. And our backyard is just under two acres. So it's a big space for them to run and play. Brows are on. So before we do that corner highlight, that was actually a question that I got. What do you use in the corner? So right in here of your eyes to give it that pretty highlight. But before we do that, another question I received was how do you stave off the cravings when, or what do you do when you just want to eat? You all know what I'm talking about. Yes, girl. We definitely know what you're talking about. So for me, if I find myself cravy, then if I don't want to eat a vegetable, broccoli, carrots, then I'm not hungry. So I ask myself that question, am I willing to eat a vegetable? And if the answer to that is no, then I'm not hungry. I'm just crazy and I don't eat anything. Now, if I am legitimately hungry, then I eat. If I listen to my body and if my body tells me that I'm hungry, whether I'm out of points or not, I will eat. Now I will choose a healthy option, but I will eat something. And honestly, if I'm craving something sweet or salty, I eat it. I just work it into my day. I definitely am a big proponent of not eliminating or restricting yourself from any foods. So if that's what I'm craving, that's what I eat. So for the corners of my eyes, I use the Kylie Jenner Santorini highlighter. I have literally had this highlighter for years, <laughs> at least two years, because I only take a tiny, tiny little bit on my brush out of the lid and I just put that right in the corner of my eye. So I'll put it right in here, close my eye a little bit and drag it up. And that's what gives you that really pretty kind of glow in the corner. So now we're gonna start on my face, starting with bronzer. So I use the Hula Beauty bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. So I'm going to start with that and I generally will put that up here on my brow bone, kind of around the side of my cheek and then also along my jawline. So the next question is how do you have so much energy and are there ever days where you feel like you want to do nothing? I am struggling with getting up and being motivated to do things. So of course, of course there are days that I don't want to do anything. Of course there are days that I just want to stay in bed and I stay in bed on those days. I don't force myself if my body is telling me that I need a rest or a break. I do not force myself to do things. It drives me crazy because of my personality to just lay in bed all day, but I'm certainly not going to force myself to do something that my body doesn't want me to do. It's okay to take a rest day. It's okay to have days where you do absolutely nothing. So the next question is, how is the real estate market around the holidays? Believe it or not, you guys, in my area, in Spokane, Washington, where I live, it is insane. There are multiple offers on houses, upwards of 10 to 15. Houses are selling for way, way over asking, and nothing has changed, even as it gets closer to the holidays. I'm pretty busy still. I have several clients at the finishing stages of buying, lots and lots of clients wanting to start the buying process or the selling process. So in my area, it's as busy as ever. So to finish off my contouring, I'm using the Beauty Counter Bronze Illuminating Highlighter Stick. So this is a new thing, you guys, to my makeup routine that is 
fabulous for contouring. So it is in a stick form. I use it right here on under my cheekbone to really bring and draw my face up. It makes it look thinner. It makes it look nice and contoured. And then you can also use this down the sides of your nose. So the next question is, does your husband like to cook at all? That's funny. Absolutely not. His definition of cooking is warming something up in the microwave. So I do all of the cooking in our house, which is fine by me. It makes it easier for me to control what I'm eating as well if I'm the one that's actually doing the cooking. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just kind of blend that out. But you can see how it just instantly drew up my face and drew up my cheekbone. I love this stuff. It's a new addition to my collection and I'm obsessed. Next is my Hikari. This is something that I discovered a long time ago. I love it. It's kind of a blush bronzer combo and I use this primarily as my blush. And what I've been doing for blush is not putting it on the apple of my cheek. Instead, I drag it up the side right above that contour line and that just again adds that little bit of color but brings in that nice contour and it just really brings up and thins out your face as well so the next question actually has three parts number one is do you use sugar or sugar substitute so i do but I choose a healthy option, which I use the Lakanto monk fruit. To me, that is the healthiest option for a sugar alternative. The monk fruit is really good. It doesn't have any aftertaste like stevia. I will link it down below with 20% off on the Lakanto website for you guys as well. For my highlighter, I use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this. Next part of that question is what is your goal weight? So I don't know what my goal weight is yet. I wanna wait and see how I feel before I determine a goal weight. So I'm going to go in with my highlighter just right here, if you smile, right there on that smile part. So when you turn to the side, you have that really pretty highlighter. So that also helps kind of bring together the face makeup that I've done. And the only other places that I put highlighter is on the tip of my nose, right above my lip, and right above my brow bone. And the last part of this question is, how do you have time to exercise? with your busy life? This is actually a really simple, simple answer. I make time to exercise because a body in motion stays at motion, a body at rest stays at rest. So for me, continuing to move my body makes me feel good, gives me energy, tones up my body throughout my weight loss, and it just becomes something that I work into my day. Just like I work prepping and preparing and eating my meals into my day. I work filming a video into my day. I work whatever else I work into my day. I work exercise into my day. Now there are some days I don't feel like it. So sometimes I don't do it, but I try to make that up throughout the rest of the week. I just make it a priority. I make it a habit. I make it a part of my day. So I'm going to wipe off any makeup that gets on to my lips and of course my nose ring. And then for lip color, we're going pretty neutral. We're gonna go with the Beauty Counter 9 to 5 which is a nice neutral color that goes really well with this particular eye look. So the next question is how tall are you? So I am 5'8". What are my thoughts on zero sugar or diet soda? So I actually did a video on my nutrition channel about diet soda, talking about the good, the bad, the ugly, and how diet soda affects your body. So I'll link that down below for you. I generally don't drink diet soda. If I choose a soda, it's Zevia because it doesn't have any caramel coloring or artificial dye. Now don't get me wrong, I'm here for a McDonald's Diet Coke. So every once in a while I will have one. I would say on average, every week to every two weeks, I will have a traditional Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. And the last thing I'm going to do is set my makeup with this Too Faced Do You setting spray. This is actually almost gone and my favorite setting spray is from Milani. I'll actually link that down below for you guys as well but I'm just going to spray that. It'll set my makeup for the day and answer the last question. I'm actually kind of glad that this is the last question and it is, what is your weekly food budget and why so many big grocery hauls for the two of you? Believe it or not, you guys, I get this question a lot. People seem to have an opinion on the groceries that I buy, for my household every single week. So first of all, we don't really have a grocery budget. We are not big budgety people. We don't really have a budget. We pay our bills first and foremost, and whatever is left over is what is left over. We've put ourselves in a financial position where we don't have a lot of bills other than our mortgage and our car payments and then just our household bills. We don't have any credit card debt. So we've put ourselves in a position where we don't have to strictly budget, which works out really, really good because I know once I've paid my bills, whatever's left is what's left. And that's what we have to do fun things with or buy groceries 
or whatever the case may be. Now, as far as hauls go, people, like I said, have an opinion on the groceries that we buy. They think that we buy too many groceries. And I guess I don't understand why it matters what groceries I'm buying to other people, but apparently it does. But as far as big hauls and why so much, unlike a lot of other people who show grocery hauls on YouTube. Now, I don't know 100% who does this, who doesn't, but I find that a lot of people who do show their grocery hauls on YouTube, that's not the only time that they're going to the store during the week. They're still frequenting the store, they're still buying groceries, they're still picking up items for meals, and we do not do that. The groceries that I buy every week are the groceries for the week end of story. We don't go to the grocery store at all. So what I buy is what we use for the week. Now, is there food left over? Sometimes, of course there is, because sometimes I don't use the whole item that I bought that week, but I try to form my meals around some of what I have on hand and then picking up what I don't have on hand at the grocery store. In addition to that, we eat all of our meals from home. I pack my husband's lunch every single day. We do not go out for meals at all, except for once a week on Saturday, and that is planned. So the groceries that I'm picking up might seem like a lot, but you have to remember that this is our only trip to the grocery store, and we do not go out to eat at all during the week. So if you think about it that way, it's not a lot of groceries. We're feeding two people three meals a day, for an entire week. So thank you again to everybody who asked questions. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look, something fun for the holidays. Again, I'll link everything down below for you guys. And thank you so much to everybody who asked questions for today's video. If you enjoyed this video and getting to know me a little bit better as well as this fun makeup look, give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you like these types of videos. Also again, if you're not yet subscribed, help me reach my goal of 30,000 and hit that little subscribe button. And of course the bell next to it it so you're not missing a single video. Check out that description box again for all of the makeup products that I shared with you. I will find the least expensive price for these and link them down below for you, as well as nutrition coaching, other links and discount codes to my favorite things, the videos we talked about today, as well as my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that community. So happy Vlogmas, you guys. Merry Christmas. Again, I hope you loved today's video. It was super fun to answer your questions. Thank you again for asking, and I'll see you in the next video.